Hey there, I'm Jason, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble and hold your trumpet. The first thing you want to make sure is that the case is on the floor with the handle facing you, and see how the handle's attached to this half of the case? That's the one that's actually touching the floor. Then you're going to open the latches upward and slowly open the case lid, revealing the instrument inside. With one hand, you're going to pick up the mouthpiece. Hold the mouthpiece with a few fingers, and then with the other hand and your remaining fingers, pick up the trumpet. To put the mouthpiece in the trumpet, all we have to do is gently set it in the lead pipe there. We don't want to screw it in and we don't want to hit it in. All we want to do is give it a quarter turn. That's firm enough that the mouthpiece won't fall out because of the pressure fit. If you push it in too hard, it could get jammed, and then we need a special tool to remove the mouthpiece from the instrument. To hold the instrument, we're going to take the instrument in our left hand. The thumb goes on one side of the valve casing, and these three fingers are going to go on the other side of the valve casing. It might be a little tight, but that's okay. If your trumpet has a ring here, then your ring finger, the fourth one on your hand, slides into that ring, and your pinky can rest alongside or tuck up if it's comfortable there. With your other hand, we're going to pretend that I'm throwing you a softball. So a softball is about that big. Catch the softball in your right hand. Now take the three middle fingers of that right hand and put them on top of the valve caps. Your thumb is going to go under that lead pipe here. And your pinky finger, and this is something a lot of new trumpet players mess up, your pinky finger goes on top of the ring, not into the ring, on top of it. If it goes into the ring, it will eventually lead to hand cramping, and we don't want that tension. So rest the pinky on top. Once you've done that, tuck your elbows in and bring the instrument up to your face, never bringing your face down to the instrument. The bell should point at your audience, not at the floor and not at the sky or the ceiling. The instrument goes straight out from your body, and you're ready to play. There are two main playing positions when you have a trumpet in your hand. Usually, you're going to be sitting down while you're playing. The first position is playing position, and that's when you have the instrument pointed at the audience because you're ready to play or you're already playing for them. The second position is rest position. Rest position is used when you have a lot of rests in a piece of music or on a break between rehearsal. Here's what you do for that. We place our feet flat on the floor, and we balance the bell of the instrument on our left knee holding it with our left hand. That frees up our right hand to turn pages, change the piece of music, or use a soft pencil to take notes on the music itself. 